Now, before we get started, you want to make sure you're using Reaper 7.17 or newer, as a lot of the functions or settings have changed, and it might look different with an older version. And when you first open Reaper and create some new tracks, it should look like this, with a track control panel over here and the mixer down here. And over to the left, we see our master track. Let's start off by hiding the mixer, go to view and deselect it here, just to make it simpler. Now over here, we see all the track elements. Right over here, our volume knob, mute and solo, effects, these are known as track elements. And the size of them can be changed very easily. Because if we make our track size smaller, it doesn't change the element size. Make them bigger, same thing. The element size stays the same. But if we want to change it, the easiest way to do that is to go up here to the view menu and choose screen sets or layouts. And that opens up this dialog. And we'll choose the layouts tab. And right over here, we could choose the size of all the elements in Reaper. Now for you, these probably look blank, but as you change them, they'll look a bit different. I tend to use bigger sizes to make the elements look bigger in my videos. Let's start off with the track panel, which again is this area over here. We could see I have it set to 200% A. If I double click over here, I could switch it to 150% A, and the elements look smaller, make them even smaller, go to 100% A, and they look really tiny. Now, if you're using a high resolution monitor, you could also use 75% or 50%. But I like to use 200% to keep them nice and big. And we could do the same thing with other contexts. Like for the transport, I have it set to 200%. So these elements are nice and big in the transport. But again, we could change it to 150%, makes those elements smaller, or 100%, and they're even smaller. And again, if you're using a high resolution monitor, you could do 75% or 50%. But I like to use 200%. Then we have the envelope panel. Let's create some envelopes on this track for volume and pan. These elements could also change their size. I have it set to 150%, but we could change it to 200%, and they're really big, or 100%, and they're a bit smaller. Let's put it back to 150%, and let's hide those envelopes. And we could also change our mixer panel. Let's reopen the mixer. Down over here, all these sizes can be changed as well. Let's change it to 200%. Now they're even bigger or smaller at 100% and they're smaller. But I keep these at 150%, right over here. Then we could also adjust our master track. Right over here, the master mixer panel, I have it set to 150%, but I could change it to 200%, and now it's bigger or smaller at 100%. And last but not least, is the master track in the track control panel. Let's hide the mixer again, go up here to our view menu and view the master track, which shows up here. I have it set to 200%, we can change it to 150, 100, or the smaller values if you have a high resolution monitor. So those are the different sizes we could choose. Let's hide the master track, but we could also change it on a track by track basis. If I select this track, we can go down here to selected track panel and change this to a different size. Instead of 200%, we can make it 150%. Now it's smaller or 100% and it's really small. We'll put it back to the default and it's back to how we set it over here, 200%. And we can change it differently in the mixer as well. We'll get back to that in a bit. Now you notice, besides changing the sizes, we could also change the layout. By default, our tracks are layout A, but we could change them to B or C, giving us three completely different layouts. Let's change it just for the second track. Double click here. Let's make it 200% B. 
and make this one 200% C. And of course, you can use any sizes you want, but we're just changing the layout right now. So this track is A, this one's B, and this one's C. And this one is also A. But you notice they now look very different. And we could change how they look in the theme adjuster. Let's go to the actions menu, show action list, type into the filter theme, and we could choose the default seven theme adjuster. Double click it, and it opens up and looks like this. And if we go to the track controls, this section adjusts all the layouts together. So I'm not gonna worry about that. But over here, we can change the layout of what we see right over here, A, B, or C. So let's go down here to our track panel, go back to A, now we can adjust the volume length. Right now it's set to knob, we can make it bigger, and it changes to a fader, but it only changes it on track one and four. Two and three are set to B and C, so it's not affected by that. So we're just changing how this looks, on layout A. Well, we could switch it to B, and this is going to affect just track two, or layout C for track three. And we could change all the things in here. Go back to A, change the length for the name of our track, just on layout A, or just the meter on layout A, to make it nice and big, and just affect those tracks, switch it to B, and just change track two, we we'll switch to C and just change it on track three. And we can do the same thing down here for the section assignments. Go to layout A, turn on the effects inserts so we see them on the track. We can adjust this differently as well. We can go to B and move it to the left side. Now it moves the effects to the left side, but only on track two or we'll layout B. We'll go to layout C, move it to the right side or hide them, it only affects track three or layout C. Anything we do in here only affects layout A, or to the left side or the right side, adjust the width on this side or this side, but only affecting layout A. Completely different on layout B, put it on this side, adjust the width of this, and it only affects track two or layout B. So in this way, we can treat our tracks very differently from layout to layout. We can do the same thing in the mixer. Let's reopen our mixer over here. But if you remember, we only change the layouts in the track control panel. They could be completely different in the mixer. So these are all still A. So we can go down here and adjust their size in layout A, and it affects all the tracks right now as these are all layout A. They could be different in the mixer. Reopen the screen sets or layouts. Now we can set them up the same way or differently. Let's choose track two and make this 150% B and track three, 150% C. So now these are gonna behave differently as well using layout A, B, or C. So again, we could adjust the size of them like this, switch it to B, change the size just for B. Let's make that standard and go to C. And let's make this one reduced. So each size can be different. Go back to A, make it a strip. Now each one is different. And we can adjust it in here as well using the different layouts. Using the standard width, we can decide to hide these, but again, we have to do it in the layout we chose. For this one, it's layout B, over here. Go back to layout A, we could change the strip width, or their elements right here. Change their order, put the fader up here, or down here. Move the effects up here, or down here. Just with the strip width. And it all could be different on layout A, B, and C. So as you can see, by changing the track element sizes and their layouts, we can treat each track very differently in how big or small the track elements are. So that's pretty much it. That's the track element sizes and layouts in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time.
Bingo, boys, let's go. Bye.